Eric here Sifuna who is a, a wakili. Mheshimiwa myself I may not argue in the basis of the law but I will ask you questions from the experience owing to the fact I could have gone through the same process that you are going through now. So you have to convince this committee. For us we have no emotions. It is facts and facts only. I would have wanted to ask you what a motion is, but you are second time MCA. So I can ask you, other than this motion, have you brought to the Meru County Assembly any other motion of whatever nature since you are elected? Yes, I've brought many motions to the County Assembly. You can mention two or yes. one? I've brought a motion uh, seeking to... Um, to, to revise, actually it went through to revise the finance laws that were guiding the county, that is in the previous county assembly. I have brought uh, a motion to the county assembly uh, seeking to lower the money that um, youth were being charged uh, to, to, to have their businesses trained with the county. That is, young people are supposed to pay money so that their companies can be allowed to get tenders from the county. Okay. That is in the previous county assembly, not this one. I was talking about this one. Oh, this one, this was my first motion. So your first motion is to remove somebody from office. Is the motion passed at the assembly or in the public? The motion is passed in the assembly. In the assembly. Yes. From the document I've seen, yes. I've seen members of the public supporting your motion uh, in the purported uh, uh, public participation. So would you say the members are supporting the motion or they were supposed to bring the memoranda of any kind in support of the removal of the governor other than supporting whatever you have already drafted? The members of the public are not bound to anything. That's why it's called public participation. Someone will wake up to their house from the house and come and see what they feel. You are not supposed to dictate to them what they should say. There is no textbook or any law that prescribes what the members of the public come to do or come to say, how they should say it. You give them the forum. They can even talk about matters that are not being discussed there but, and give their memoranda and go. But from the documents that you have, most letters are saying we are supporting the motion by Honorable DMK. So you are executing your motion to the public. The advert right that wrong? went to the newspapers is there is a motion in the assembly that you're supposed to react to. So it's not wrong for a member of the public to say, I am supporting that motion that is under this public participation because of one, two, three reasons. Maybe the reasons that I have given that they think this is not what government should be doing or reasons that they themselves feel are not even part of this motion by impeachable. So you cannot dictate to the members of the public what to say and what to write. Uh, Chairman, I, I think it's good for this committee to note that um, uh, that is tantamount to having a local referendum, uh, this document that has been presented to us, which is true is given by the County Government Act, Section 90, but need to be carried out by IEBC. Uh, another question is, it was said here um, that uh, the 67 MCAs cannot be wrong, Right. Yes. They cannot be wrong. But you also know that mob justice is illegal? I don't think MCAs are a mob. They are elected representatives of people. To avoid uh, being accused of calling them mob, that's why I'm asking for this kind of evidence. We have agreed here that other than the video evidence that you give here to this committee, video evidence, there is no other document purporting the hiring of those roadside declarations, the pay slips, letter of appointments. So we agree your evidence is only based on video evidence. No. My evidence is, the evidence is there to, uh, to support the post that the governor uh, wrote doing some of the appointments via Facebook. Uh, then there are, there are the videos. There, are, there is the, the sign of David about the sourcing of the evidence that um, I brought to this uh, very house. Uh, then when 
Yes, there, there is also evidence from the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission that is supposed to enforce Chapter 6 of the Constitution. I don't think our CEO of the EACC that has been mandated by the Constitution to look at breaches of Chapter 6 can sit down and write something on EAC. So we also the, relied on that letter as evidence. The letter that was talking about allegations. I'm a Catholic. Are you a Catholic? Yes, I am. And you know, we do have liturgical colors. Yes, we do. It is mentioned here that uh, the issue of red. And um, I, I wish this issue was not here because I wouldn't want to discuss my church. But do you know red is a symbol of passion? It is only worn in church when we are celebrating martyrs. Those people who have been prosecuted without uh, committing crime. Yes. So could you we say that you misinterpreted the colors to mean no. something different? The church was being prosecuted by the governor for committing no wrongs. Okay. Finally, uh, Mr. Chairman, we need to bring in the role of a speaker. Do you know the role of a speaker? Yes. Of the assembly? Yes. He's supposed to be impartial. Yes. It has been mentioned here that he himself has been saying or is quoted in media saying that the governor must go. Has that evidence been adduced here? It was mentioned here on the meeting of 18th. I can regard that as here said because I never saw any evidence of the speaker saying those words. Okay. Do you know that a government entity with the right legal framework can collect money and spend at source? For example, the water companies. So do you know with, with that they can spend money at the source, even hospitals? Hospitals? Yeah. But what does the constitution say? About no, I'm saying with the right framework. With the right illegal framework, yeah. yes. Do you know yes. that can happen? Yes, yes. So has the county assembly of Meru tried to pass such a law? No. They haven't? Yeah. That's all, Chairman. Thank you, Senator Fokiambu. We now listen to the Senator of Mach